वेलकम टू जी टेक टेक्नो सोल्यूशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड द टॉपिक विच यू आई टू डिस्कस नाउ इज इलेक्ट्रो केमिस्ट्री टू सो इफ यू सी हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड डील अबाउट सिंगल इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल स्टैंडर्ड ई एम एफ ऑफ सेल डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ ई एम एफ ऑफ एंड हाफ सेल प्रोडक्टिंग द सेल ई एम एफ एंड ऑल्सो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फीसिबिलिटी ऑफ रिएक्शन दैट इज अ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फीसिबिलिटी ऑफ रिएक्शन so this is how the standard emf of a cell will be and we are going to discuss about this and also about hydrogen displacement and also we'll be discussing about the single electrode potential so if you see here in general an electrochemical cell consists of two half cells with an open circuit the metal electrode in each half cell transfers its ions into solution why you can able to see it over here thus an individual electrode develops a potential with respect to the solution the potential of a single electrode in a half cell is called the single electrode potential so this is about the electromotive force which is called as emf so if you see here the electromotive force is the voltage developed by any source of electrical energy such as battery or dynamo it is generally defined as the electrical potential for the source in a circuit you can see here a battery that is a cell will be having the positive and negative charges having 1.50 volt and it may have a term specification which is nothing but voltage so these are the various places at which how the emf works So you can see here a battery is there having anode and cathode so you can see the charges getting to be processed right now over here So you can see how the charges are deployed and you can gradually see the decrease of voltage in both the cases So we have a cell of voltage which loses its volt once the emf is applied and this is the terminal voltage which has the indication over here so a pure voltage if you see is usually referred as emf and you can see a emf which is connected in series with the resistor r So a battery can be molded as an EMF connected in series with a resistor by supplying the DC power supply that is direct current. So this is indicating the internal resistance. So this is equal to the potential difference across the terminal of the cell which you can able to see it here very clearly so thus in terms of the daniel cell in which the electrodes are not connected externally the anode that is zinc develops a negative charge and the cathode that is copper develops a positive charge So the amount of charge produced on an individual electrode determines its single electrode potential. So you can find here how the depiction of single electrode is taking place and also you can see the anode and cathode depiction and you can see the real time depiction of how the electrode is all about. So the single electrode potential of a half cell depends on concentration of ions in a solution tendency to form ions and finally temperature 